Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Fano here and in this CSGO video we're going to be taking a look at how to invest $25 in CSGO Operation Riptide. This is my fourth video in my video series on how to invest X amount of dollars in Operation Riptide. Tomorrow's video is going to be how to invest $50, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to get notified when that video goes live. Let's get started! Here we go, let's take a look at the Galil AR Caution. $24 at the moment for field tested. Decent skin, decent skin. I can definitely see the skin rising to like 30 maybe even $40 and feel tested at some point. So please guys, consider this skin if you guys have $25. Not too bad. But it's not the only skin you guys should be taking a look at here. The Digital Architect P250 is also under $25, currently $22 on the Steam Community Market. A very interesting skin. Battle Scarred condition is rare to get, so, you know, maybe take a look at a Battle Scarred. Just if you're a collector, not really. You know, most people aren't going to be using them for trade-ups, so um, only if if you're planning on selling to a collector, go for Battle Scarred. Other than that, you know, Field Tested Minimal War Factor and you should be the way to go, assuming you just want to spend all your money on one particular skin. The same can be said about the Mag 7 Prism Taras. It has a very nice pearlescent tint to it, changes colors depending on the ambient light, so perfect, perfect skin. You guys can get it for less than $25, create your buy orders today, try to get it for as low as you can, and hold on to it for a couple months, you'll definitely see some growth. Now this is only if you want to, you know, purchase one skin with your $25. Another strategy you can do is you can buy five of the mill specs so five negev infrastructures in factory new or minimal wear definitely is a possibility wouldn't probably advise that you know it's a little risky you're only using one skin uh you know not saying that the negev won't rise it's just you know it might be a better idea to diversify the skins you know buy one of every mill spec try to mix and match collections maybe like two mirage mill specs and two vertigo mill specs and if you have any extra cash left over one from dust two or some combination along those lines might not be a bad idea. You could also go all in on industrial grade. So for example, you can buy 20 SSG08 carbon fibers in the factory new condition. Definitely an avenue you guys can go. Although if you do decide to go with industrial grades, I would again diversify. So don't just buy one particular industrial grade skin. Maybe buy like five carbon fibers, five, you know, UMP45 mechanisms in, you know, factory new. And then also take a look at some of the other industrial grades from the collections like Mirage. So the C75 auto Midnight Palm Factory New might not be a bad idea, five of them. Maybe also like the P90 Verdant Growth Factory New, or, you know, perhaps like a Cali Camo from Moss. If you take a look at the, you know, Dust 2 collection, some of the industrial grades there, you know, the Spalted Wood looks kind of cool. Maybe you can take a look at that, or the MP9 Old Roots. Again, mix and match some of those, go with Factory New, go all in, um, and, uh, you know, you can get like 20 plus skins in industrial grade, of course, depending on where you buy and uh, if you create buy orders or not. And again, $25, you can also buy a bunch of cases as well, create buy orders, or perhaps even take a look at some stickers, go with the Surf, Surf Shop Collection stickers, you know, not the regular stickers, but the, uh, the special kind of stickers, you know, so take a look at those, go for like the Miami 6 or Tier 6 or whatever it's called, go for that one, or any of the other Tier 6 stickers, those were probably gonna be the best ones, maybe take a look at like the flows as well, but either way, remarkable stickers from that collection definitely look really good, and, uh, might give you guys some good profit. Apart from that, patches, again, go for exotics and, um, you know, buy one or two. I probably wouldn't go all in. You could try and go all in, put all your cards in one deck. You might get lucky, but at the end of the day, skins are definitely the safest way to go. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video by smashing that like button and hitting that subscribe button to stay tuned for tomorrow's video where we take a look at $50 investments. So until next time, guys, this is Fano, signing out.